Chuck Todd went on to say that uh, McDaniel has credibility issues, say there's a reason why there are a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this because many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting, have been met with character assassination. Here with his analysis on this and other political headlines, Scripps News contributor Steve Schmidt, founder of The Warning. Good morning, Steve. Uh, you have written extensively about NBC's move to hire Ronna McDaniel calling it both a crisis and a disgrace. As someone who worked for MSNBC for 10 years, what led to this move and what will the consequences be? I should say almost 10 years and that what the country saw yesterday on the Sunday show on Meet the Press when Chuck Todd joined after Rana McDaniel's credibility was decimated under questioning from Kristen Welker was an act of moral courage uh, from Chuck Todd. It was an electrifying moment. Uh, it was the rebellion of journalism against corporate cynicism. It was an assertion that the standards and the values of the network matter. Chuck Todd seems to understand, and this is important, and these values I know are important at Scripps. Uh, which is why I'm at Scripps. Telling the truth matters. There will be dark days in our country, and the people who sit across from a camera and explain death and war and human frailties have to be credible. All over the world, there is a battleground and it's that space where the truth and the lie are indistinguishable. Ronna McDaniel had a position of profound public trust as the chair of the third oldest political party in the world. I placed the concession phone call for John McCain to Barack Obama in 2008. And it was my honor to do so to play this infinitesimally small role in the peaceful transition of power that is our legacy, that is our inheritance. Our entire civilization is sustained by the assignment of political power through an election and its denial because, well, I had to do it because I was on the team, right, is an abomination. And no news organization can credibly pay off somebody because they allowed for salubrious debate negotiations by giving them a contract that places them in proximity as a colleague to credible journalists at a time when one of the two major party nominees is promising to release people through pardon who have been convicted of seditious insurrection who have promised violence against the contribution, against the Constitution, while calling for the imprisonment of journalists, political opponents, and enemies, and promising vengeance. And so what Chuck Todd did was rather remarkable, and this is an unfolding story that's going to have a lot of ramifications, I think, for how journalism, such as it is, functions in the contestation of some fundamental principles and values and ideas in the month ahead, mm -hmm. in the months ahead. And, and Steve, I, I know to some viewers it may seem kind of inside baseball who another or news organization is hired as a, as a contributor, but this issue touches on, and how many conversations have we had about this topic, about the difficulty right now in the news business, no matter where you fall in it, is trying to strike the right balance and maintain credibility but also not give voice and credibility to the ridiculous or to the factually untrue. And the question is, if two plus two equals four, is the guy who says, no, it equals 12, do equal time and equal respect for the appearance of objectivity, even though we know the guy saying 12 is factually off base. And that is a struggle every day, I think, in, in every media organization that's trying to, to appear credible and objective, but you're dealing with a world that is not, and a very powerful world that is not. Uh, and I don't know what the answer to that is. We've debated this a thousand times. What advice would you have to those of us who are striving for that, 
but find it difficult? The, the search for balance can never lead to an erasure of reality and fact, because that takes you to the edge of an abyss where you find indifference. And when you find indifference regarding truth or liberty or freedom or around what happened on January 6th, we stand at the edge of disaster. Now, if you believe two plus two is 36, good for you. There are lots of things you can do that are productive in life and have great worth and purpose. But being a math teacher is probably not one of them. And in the same way, if you are to appear on a television network grounded in standards, grounded in ethics, you cannot be party to hideous lies. And even yesterday on the appearance, Ronna McDaniel shades the truth. Well, there were flaws in the election. No, there were not. This was the cleanest technical election in American history uh, by its credibility, by its legitimacy. Its slandering does not make the slanders real or true in federal court through audits over and over and over again. But this attack on the legitimacy of the election is ominous. It is done with intent and purpose. And it is done with profound betrayal because every political party must understand that it's root in a democracy, that you must be willing to lose to concede to the election result because the sovereign is the people. So there can be no ambiguity on this question. Fact is fact. It is deeply wrong and a violation of every journalistic ethic when a Brett Baer, for example, says, I am afraid to share with my audience at Fox News across the country that Joe Biden has won the election because the audience has been whipped into a frenzy, a hysteria of nonsensical untruthfulness by our hosts who lie to them while being paid 30 to $40 million a year every night. This is a affront to the idea and concepts of patriotism, the principles of journalism, and it has to be confronted. And that's what Chuck Todd did yesterday, he drew a red line. It's what Kristen Welker did yesterday. The corporate executives encountered their newsroom. The newsroom is NBC News. The journalism is NBC News, not the executives. And that's what Chuck Todd did yesterday. And just at a personal note, you know, as somebody who spent nine years there as a contributor, is always proud of my association with the people there at NBC News, who, who in my experience exhibited the highest caliber of professionalism and ethics in representing the facts of the matter to the American people. And I know that that matters a great deal to a lot of those people there, as it does to a lot of my new colleagues here at Scripps News. Scripps News contributor and founder of The Warning, Steve Schmidt. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you.